NASA leaked something horrifying is happening to Jupiter. After the James Webb Space Telescope was successfully launched, NASA has been releasing astral images to the public with greater clarity than previously. Now, NASA's replacement for the Hubble Telescope has captured a stunning image of Jupiter, our solar system's most popular gas giant. A fresh perspective of the planet with its hazy rings, mysterious stripes, and neighboring moons was revealed by infrared light. Images taken on July 27th have now revealed detail never before seen. Hey guys, welcome back to Beyond Unknown. Today, we will be taking a look at NASA's new discovery about Jupiter. Make sure to stick till the end of this video as we have a lot to cover. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel and like today's video, it helps us a long way. Let's begin. Our solar system's largest planet is dominating the internet with over 640,000 Instagram likes. It is a remarkable photograph of a heavenly body located approximately 484 million miles distant that is vibrant and bright. NASA had previously teased that it will be sharing in-depth images of the planet taken by the James Webb Space Telescope, and the agency kept its word on Monday by posting the images to Instagram. For the first time, a spectrum of vivid colors can be seen encircling the gas giant in the first of the two images. The planet's famous great red spot may be seen clearly on the planet's surface, which is covered in a spectrum of blues and purples. The planet's rings and a larger view of Jupiter's brilliant blue outline can be seen in the second image. According to NASA's Instagram post, Jupiter dominates the black background of space in the first photograph. Jupiter is seen in heightened color in the composite image. Here, the great red spot of the globe appears white. Neon turquoise, periwinkle, light pink, and cream horizontal stripes ripple across the surface of the planet. At their edges, the stripes interact and blend together like cream and coffee. The planet glows turquoise along its two poles. At both poles, bright orange auroras light barely above the planet's surface. How Jupiter Got Its Stripes there are stripes running from pole to pole across Jupiter and other gaseous planets. However, astronomers are unsure about their actual origin. Thanks to a very basic laboratory mock-up of the gaseous planet, a group of physicists now propose that Jupiter stripes may be formed in part by tides, a result of the gravitational dragging of its 60 or so moons. The prevailing winds blow differently in large bands that run parallel to Jupiter's equator, which are known as its zonal winds. For many years, experts have pondered the actual origin of these winds and the striped pattern they create. According to Peter Rines, an oceanographer at the University of Washington in Seattle, even after 40 years, it's still a topic. According to him, scientists generally agree that convection, the propensity of hotter gases to rise and cooler gases to fall, is what causes the zonal winds. However, they disagree as to whether the convection that causes the stripes extends to the planet's core or merely occurs near the surface. However, according to Andreas Tilgner and colleagues from the National Center for Scientific Research at IE Marseille University in France, convection may not even be a factor. Tilgner is a geophysicist at the University of Göttingen in Germany. They contend that Jupiter and all other gaseous planets are fundamentally fluid spheres revolving on axes, and the flowing fluid may organize itself in a specific way as a result of the recurrent tidal pulling of, say, an orbiting moon. It is specifically creating cylinder-shaped zones or columns that are stacked on top of one another and flow at various rates along the cylinder's axis. Similar to the stripes found on gaseous planets, these cylindrical zones form stripes that travel horizontally to the sphere's equator where they intersect the sphere's surface. Tilnier presented the mathematical foundation for the hypothesis two years ago. He has now conducted experiments with his colleagues to prove that it is effective. The researchers created a fictitious gaseous planet by hollowing out a sphere in a flexible silicon cylinder and filling it with water, which resembles the gas that makes up gas giants. They added titanium dioxide-coated, asymmetrical mica flakes to the water, which aligned with the flow and reflected laser light differently in different directions, allowing the researchers to visualize the flows. The cylinder was then rotated and artificial tides were created by Tilnier and colleagues. Tides somewhat bend a spherical planet, turning it into an oval with one end pointing at the moon and the other pointed away. This deformation may be caused by an orbiting moon. The team squeezing the cylinder between two rollers, which could circle the cylinder at a rate different from the one at which the cylinder spun on its axis, was able to replicate that phenomenon. 
and the team got what they were hoping for. The flow would split up into multiple cylindrical columns and give the planet a stripe appearance for the specific ratios of the cylinder's rotational speed to the roller's rotational speed, the researchers say in an article that will be published in Physical Review Letters. Lead author Cyprian Maurice, who is now with CNRS at the Paris University Sud 11, or say, observes that while Jupiter has minor tides, the tides are not the whole story, they're just one part of it. But they might be more significant on certain of Jupiter moons, including Io or Europa. Planetary scientist Adam Showman from the University of Arizona Tucson thinks the theory is interesting and that it's worth investigating further. Researchers would have to extrapolate to the specific hydrodynamic conditions there, he argues, in order to ascertain whether it applies to Jupiter. Rhines also concurs with Moritz that objects like Jupiter's moons are likely to be better candidates for the concept, but he warns that in a straightforward experiment like this one, nearly any type of stirring will be sufficient to generate such cylindrical flows. Therefore, the outcome scarcely includes other theories as to why the stripes exist. Scientists discovered that Jupiter's colorful stripes are much deeper than they thought. According to three new studies, Jupiter's vibrant stripes are more than 1,000 miles wide and contain so much gas that their mass is roughly equivalent to that of the entire planet Earth. The dark bands and light zones of Jupiter's atmosphere have been recognized for centuries. Renowned astronomer Galileo Galilei was the first to notice them. Jupiter is the largest planet in our solar system. Yohai Caspi, a planetary scientist at the Wiseman Institute of Science in Rehovot, Israel, and the primary author of one of the three studies, said that the bands were connected to Jupiter's strong winds. But up until recently, it was unclear how far into Jupiter the bands extended. According to a study by Caspi, NASA's Juno probe, now orbiting Jupiter, is now producing a 3D depiction of these streams of Jupiter, and they reach far deeper than ever thought. Jupiter is orbited by Juno every 53 days. The radio signals that Juno sends back to Earth move a little bit as the planet's gravitational field pulls on the spacecraft. The gravitational pull on Juno and its radio waves is inversely correlated with the mass under it. The different orbits that Juno's flybys are in allow it to map the gravitational fields of various regions of the planet. One of the other research discovered that the planet's interior moves as a single body below the level of these winds. In other words, despite being fluid, it behaves as though it were a rigid solid. The reason for this, according to earlier studies, is that the high pressures found inside Jupiter, the hydrogen that makes up a large portion of the planet splits into protons and electrons, which produce powerful magnetic drag forces that stifle winds traveling in the other direction. And that ends today's episode. Hey, we sincerely hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please click on the like button and share it with your friends and family. And don't forget, you can also subscribe to our YouTube channel for even more incredible videos. Don't forget to leave us any questions or comments you may have in the comment space below. And we'll catch up in the next video. Thanks for watching.